guys and welcome to this week's tutorial and this one I'm going to show you how to make this really cool animation it's really simple to make so I hope you guys enjoy and yeah let's get right into it so I'm gonna start off with an empty blender scene I'm gonna add in a uh, mesh I'm gonna add in a icosphere and tab into edit mode right click subdivide go into this little section increase the smoothness and bring it up to three or two up to you guys but I suggest putting it up to three if your computer can handle it and then Give yourself a subdivision surface modifier and then just de decrease the levels in the viewport for now and then shift d to duplicate the same ball and hide it okay so we have these two and uh, shift a now you have to go into edit and preferences and add-ons and find uh, extra objects and yeah add that and basically from that you should be given this landscape the mesh and so here we get like a mountain so i'm gonna go into the operate presets and give myself a gully and i'm just gonna go in here and change it from sh the sharpness from soft to sharp so it's a bit sharper in a sense and yeah uh, let's bring back our ball and i'm just gonna scale this on the not the ball i'm gonna scale the landscape on the x a little bit and scale it up on the y a little bit and then i'm just gonna keep it as it is so now let's add in a volume to the ball and change it to intersect. So now we should see in our sphere in the wireframe that it is intersecting. Oh, no, not yet, because we have to choose the object of landscape. So now we can see that it has intersected it correctly and basically we're making a cutout. Okay, perfect. So press Ctrl A on the Boolean to apply that modifier and now we can delete this landscape. Perfect. Now, shift A again and add in another landscape. And in the operator presets, add in, let's go to volcano. The first one, there's a lot of things you can adjust, the amount of noise and everything, but for me, I'll just use a false one for the tutorial up here. And I'm gonna rotate it on the Y a little bit, grab it here, and move it somewhere around here, something like this. And yet again, we're gonna get another Boolean, select our uh, landscape 001, and choose uh, difference. In this case and yeah and then press ctrl a to apply it and delete it so now we have this cutout and basically if we bring up back our other ball we can see that it is just there so i'm going to scale it down a tiny bit and you see we have this really nice shape so if if we increase the subdivisions just that's how it will look which looks pretty nice in our case and yeah so basically in this situation um so i'm just going to keep it in one so in this situation this part is going to be like mountains and this part is going to be the glass so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to tap into edit mode in the outer part i'm going to hide this and i'm going to tap into edit mode here and i'm going to press c and increase the size by moving up the scroll wheel and then just select all these edges so don't worry about so selecting it too much because you can go a little bit on to here. So basically this is going to be so that we can add a new material. And so this part is going to be flat where I'm shading now and the other one is going to be bumpy and mountainous. So just go through around everywhere and select everything. So when I'm done, I'm going to come back to you guys. So basically now you can see what I've selected, all these areas. And now we can go into the shading tab and add a new material. So I'm going to slot one here and press assign and then press the plus button to add another material and press control I to invert your selection. So this is the other part. So this is going to be a mountainous things and press assign. And just so that I can see if this worked correctly, I'm just going to make this into a black. And as we can see, these are the two sections. Okay. So um, for this case, I'm going to be working in EV uh, cycles for now. But I'm going to show you how it looks, how you can do it better for EV also. So I'm going to control P these two objects. So and this to this, control P, turn the object. And then I'm going to grab it on the Z, bring it up a little bit up the ground, something like this. And I'm going to shift there, add in the plane. Hmm, give me that plane. Scale it up by 8. Tap into edit mode, press up edge, extrude it. Bring it up, grab it on the Z a little bit more. It doesn't really matter. How high you put it, add in a bubble modifier, increase the amount, increase the subdivisions, 
and yeah, do something like this, and then right click and change move. Okay, now we've got our scene basically laid out. So I'm just gonna put in some lights. So I'm adding the light, area light, grab it on the Z, bring it up a bit, uh, give it a power of, let's say 500, make it into a disc. For EV, go into the shadow settings and add contact shadows. And I'm gonna steal it up, something like this. Oh, something like this, quite big. I'm gonna shift the duplicate it. Grab it here. So I'm making a three point lighting setup. Something like this looks nice. I'm gonna scale this one down a bit so we can get a sharper light going. And I'm gonna grab it here and rotate it on the Z and give myself this kind of angle. Grab it down. Okay, so this looks good to me. So now, the last thing before we start shading, uh, I'm gonna go into uh, the world settings. I'm gonna add in a um, environment texture, so an HDRI. I'm gonna link, if it dis put the link in the description of the HDRI that I use, and this one, and just put the strength to 42. That should be enough. And yeah, you guys can use it also. Um, so now let's go into rendered view. Uh, we're still in Eevee. Let's go into cycles, and I'm gonna press one, shift A, add in a camera. Let me get my camera out. Control Alt, grab it, and just like angle myself nicely. Oh, control Alt zero, and then rotate on the X. I think. Yep. This looks good. Yeah, it's a little messy, but now it's gonna be looking fine. So, as you can see, I have my ball. I have everything working. So let's start shading this. So. First of all, uh, to uh, the outer section, I'm just gonna add a simple material, just low roughness, not but not zero. Oh, that's for the inside. Let me go back to the outer. So low roughness, but not zero. I just call this outer. Uh, and the rest, basically, keep it as is. Maybe increase the second a little bit. But for the inner, so let's go into slot two. Uh, make this back to white but fully white decrease the uh, roughness completely increase the specular to maximum and then let's add oh i lost it okay so i found it <laughs> my bad just got lost so let's make it completely white decrease the roughness to zero increase the specular to one and let's come here add in a bump node bump plug the normal into the normal add in a color ramp uh, plug the color into the height and get out a noise texture. Noise texture. And let's plug that into the wall. And let's just zoom in a little bit and let's see what we're working with. So I'm going to increase the detail up. Increase the scale a little bit. Increase the roughness a little bit. And then start bringing in my black part here. And then my white part. So everything is a little bit sharper. So something like this looks good to me. So basically, we're done with the outer uh, ball. And uh, now let's get into the uh, cool glass uh, that we had. So adding a new material. So I'm just going to unplug this, but I won't delete it because we're going to use it when I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it in Eevee. So shift A, add in a uh, glass, glass BSDF. Plug the BSDF into the surface. Uh, and then let's go into rendered mode, add a IOR of 1.333, just spam that a little bit. And then let's put the color to a nice blue somewhere around here. Not too strong, because we still want to see what's happening inside. Okay, so that's what we got. And now, one thing I forgot for the inner part, I'm just going to also tint the mountain things a little blue also. Okay, so basically our glass ball is done, and our whole thing is shaded correctly and that's how we want it so just for a plane i'm gonna turn down the base color make it just a little bit gray add in a metallic increase the specular and turn down the roughness but not completely okay so basically we need to do one more thing uh, before we can animate this so we're gonna add in the point light grab it on the z i'm gonna 
swap it in in the middle here and then i'm gonna change its color to nice blue somewhere here also more teal color and give it a power of 100 okay it's pretty vibrant it's pretty strong so what I'm, i need to do is go into the object properties and visibility and i'm gonna turn off transmission and that takes away that big ball that we saw in the middle okay so now for, just for now i'm gonna bring the bat back a bit and i'm gonna duplicate this one and put it in here and then i'm gonna turn down it to 50. so we have one ball in there one ball in there and so these lights now let's turn off the transmission okay uh for the other one turn off the transmission and that's it perfect so now we can clearly see what's going inside the ball that we have and it looks pretty beautiful so let's um, go into animating it so i'm gonna go back to solid view just for a tiny bit and um, and yeah so press n to bring out our transformation options select our outer like the glass part of our sphere and let's um, add keyframes for the rotation and a single keyframe for the z location and then go to the last frame plus one so what i'm going to do is 250 frames it takes a little longer to render out 250 frames but i feel like it looks nicer because 120 the movement seems too quick for me so i'm just gonna uh, insert single keyframe here and on the z rotation i'm gonna put 360 degrees and then insert that single keyframe and so now we have all our keyframes uh but uh we still need to animate the intermediate points so as you can see when we rotate here a lot of we, we don't see much it would be nice to angle the uh, ball into the direction so we can see the mountains a bit clearer so and from the beginning i'm gonna add in a keyframe let's put it to the tool add in the keyframe somewhere around here where i rotated on the x and a little bit on the y so we can see it a little clearer and i'm going to insert single keyframe and insert the single keyframe and then we keep rotating so now here i'm going to angle it the other way so we can see the mountain from this direction so from this direction and i'm going to insert my single keyframe insert my single keyframe and then just bring it back so this is our movement that we got but for now, we need to add some um, different type of interpolation for everything. But just before that, I'm going to add in another keyframe for the Z location. So like at frame 120, I'm just going to move it up a bit somewhere here. Answer single keyframe. So like our ball can be bobbing up and down just so that it's a bit more active. So let's bring out quickly the graph editor and go into the object transforms. I'm just, I'm going to lock the... Um, Z Euler rotation and then I press T and Bezier. So everything else except the Z rotation is going to be Bezier and it's going to look a bit smoother and it's there aren't going to be that those rough, uh, changes in direction. So close that up and there we have it. This is our whole animation. You can put your camera in a better position, but let's just export this. Um, let's pick a file name i'm gonna call it whatever file format to ffmpeg and encoding to mp4 and then output quality perceptual losses and then hit uh, control 12 and you're gonna render out your animation but just quickly for those eevee lovers uh what you can do to do this uh, in eevee turn on ambient inclusion bloom screen space reflections and i'm gonna go into the glass part we're gonna go into the material settings Turn on back, back face calling, alpha blends, and turn the shadow mode to none. And then go into the shading tab, and we're gonna add in a shift A, add in a mix shader, plug that into here, plug the principal BSDF into the top, and just give it a transmission, bring that up to like what oh, to one, and turn down the alpha a little bit. And now we can see through. And that's basically all we have to do. And now we can render this out and even doesn't look as great, but still looks good. So hit control of 12 and you'll get something like this. So yeah, looks great. Looks amazing.
so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed uh thank you for watching if you guys enjoy my content please subscribe hit the like button maybe comment down below what you want to see from me I, i'm gonna pretty much make whatever you guys request if it's possible and yeah uh thank you for watching see you guys in the next one goodbye